welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tips Skunk You Part 3. Alright, I just wanted to, um, I kept saying I wouldn't do this, just make the one, make the point, but I go, well, I better show you that I did it. It's dry. I shaved just a little bit, like I said. Now we'll uh, re dip it in and test the fit. And this time I'm so confident that it's going to fit that I did put the ears in it and the eyes in with a little clay this time. So, uh, dude, look at that. Remember how far off we were? Now look. Perfect. See? Look at that. Perfect. It is. It really is. See? And that's my philosophy is like why not just take that it really didn't take that long to cut that out and fix this to have a perfect fit to where it's gonna uh, you know be just right and then we don't have to fight nothing except why is my arm upside down oh, there we go now it's gonna fit even better because that was binding it up that in position. There, that went there, and that went there. We heard that go in, so we know. Let's take a little couple pins and uh, pin it real quick. If you really wanted to, you could make a slit underneath the arm and uh, Put some Bondo in there and, you know, really weld your arm back on. But this martini tan dries so hard it's not necessary. It's going to be on a, on a little thing like this standing up there. Why, it's going to be a pretty nice mount, huh? Look at that. Perfect. So all that's left to do now... Oh, see, this is a female skunk, too. Probably if it was a, a bull, have more mass on it. So the feet are a little long, so we'll just, you know, do that. They always like feet molded on mannequins, Tom, because it looks good and it sells good. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, half the time you end up cutting it all off. See, look, we're almost to the heel, see? Huh. So it's still not quite, you know, short enough. texting while I'm No, I'm taking a picture and put it on my Instagram. Really? Yeah. Does anyone listen to your Instagram? No. I mean, listen to it. Nobody. Me neither. Well, no, that's not true. I have like five followers on Instagram. Yeah, I think I have less than a hundred. Uh, I got more than that, but... <laughs> stop bragging. Huh? Say stop bragging. Alrighty. Take it back, not already. God, see? Feet are too heavy, too. In the old days, when they had more primitive mannequins, the paper or whatnot, they wouldn't. They'd just have a little round blob for the feet, and then you'd use the clay and stuff. You know? But it, like I said, it doesn't look pretty. So now they put a big old long foot on. But now I have to, okay, so we're almost there. Did I have to cut down, reshape?
our foot. I'll put some glue on too, it'll move around a little bit, but the problem is don't want to put the glue on too soon, get it all in the hair, and then I gotta wash it all off. Now, all we have to do is sew around here, sew up the bottom, and we're good to go, and then do the face. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put a little more glue on here, then I'm confident in the fit. And we'll rock and roll. Actually, that's not true. We're not going to rock and roll. We're going to go do another podcast, right, Tom? Do another podcast. And then I'll sew this up. But I'll just start it right now just to show. black thread on this on account of it's a skunk. But you guys get the idea. I don't have to at least I don't have to sew the whole skunk up now. Dude that's never gonna go through there is it? Need another needle. If this will be Mikey again, he'll yell at me. There we go. sewing it up because they hate it. Made me faster. That was a hired needle. Right? Like a hired gun. <laughs> Anyhow you get the idea. Just gonna just gotta do one loop. Won't even take me that long. Probably take me longer to sew the tail than the hole. Oh, shebang. So we'll continue up that and we'll have the skunk sitting here when we do the next episode of uh, the pig. We're going to turn the pig uh, either green with green clay or brown with brown clay depending on what Fraser sends me because I'm out of sculpting clay. So hopefully that will come in this week. Then I still got to tan this little pig and uh, actually build another mannequin to mount it on. Oh, and then I'm working on that uh, Fen and Fox, like on the commercial for HLN, mm -hmm. Daily Share. Oh, and then we got this to do. Nice. Yeah, Mojave Green, most deadliest. I'll be like one of them snake charmer guys. Not the snake charmer, you know, the religious guy. 
to do the snake handler. You say it's the most deadliest? Yeah, in California, that's what they say. Mojave green. They're actually green colored. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, it's a science teach for some science deal. You know. Anyway, I better sign off, otherwise I'll get in this. We'll never do our podcast. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Chuck's Tuesday Tips.